I feel that we cannot rely upon the leaders of the world. Climate change is the greatest challenge that we are facing in the century. And I feel that the reason why people as attention was galvanized and that people came out in the street and you saw at least 400,000 people in that march is that we understand clearly that it's not going to be the leaders of the world who will make the decision to have a globally binding uh, treaty by, by the time that we have the, the UNFCCC or the UN Conference on Climate Change, but that unfortunately will have to be us. And the, that is the reason why I accepted to be um, the IUCN uh, ambassador for the, the, um, the Bonn Challenge. And what is the Bonn Challenge? Uh, the Bonn Challenge is the largest uh, commitment for, for uh, restoration uh, of land in the world. It's a hundred, we, the objective is 150 million hectares of land by 2020 and 350 by 2030. So uh, what, what is the difference between reforestation and, uh, and restoration? Is that restoration uh, in, you know, includes and, uh, and, is in, in, it, and works together with, uh, with uh, communities. And it is to improve the livelihood, to improve security, to, to improve water, to improve. So is in each one of those communities and each those different countries will have a say as to it is. And what we did is that in, in, in Brazil, at the Rio Plus 20, we had 20 million hectares that were pledged. Among those, were 15 by the U.S. and President Obama spoke about it uh, in, the, in his speech yesterday. But yesterday we have um, countries like, um, like the Congo, Niger, Colombia, Ethiopia, Guatemala, uh, and Uganda. And it, was, it amounted to 35 million hectares of land that they had pledged to restore. That comes to um, 55 million hectares of land that we already have the pledge. Now, if we are able to achieve the 150 million hectares of land, uh, or restore that land, what it will amount to is to uh, we will remove one billion tons of carbon from the atmosphere, which will reduce the emission gap by 11 to 17 percent. That is enormous. But what is really important to understand about restoration, because a lot of people understand what is uh, reforestation but don't understand what is restoration, is that it, it is working together with communities, with the people. They are the ones that are being consulted as to how they want to do it. And you were asking about about, about, for example, Brazil, uh, even though the government has not done, that is, uh, in, in the Rio Plus 20, we had the Mata, the, the Mata Atlantica of, of Brazil that, that made a pledge, and it is a combination of government, uh, business, and private sector. So it's not only governments that can make a pledge. You can have a pledge as well by landowners and by business and people who are owners of land. And, and I think that it is a hope, because we cannot really rely upon leaders to do what is necessary. I don't believe anymore that they have the will to do what is necessary to prevent catastrophic climate change. Therefore, we need initiatives, like the initiative of the Bond Challenge. And by the way, a uh, hectare is about two and a half acres. Uh, and Bianca Jaga, could you explain how it is that the Bond Challenge will feed into, if at all, uh, whatever possible uh, UN uh, climate agreement might be reached, and specifically on this question of restoration? Well, uh, I don't know how it will. It will, of course, uh, because it had to do with the reduction of, of CO2 emissions, but it is an, an initiative that is outside of you know, the, the UN um, agreement. It may be that by the time we come to, to, uh, to Paris, it will be part of it. But it is an initiative that... Does the IC IUCN not work with the UN? On yes, these of course questions? it works. In fact, let, let me maybe explain a little bit about how it came about. Uh, it was uh, in Bonn, and it was a meeting of governments, of, um, of, uh, uh, of civil society, of um, grassroots organization, of business uh, together came up with the idea that it was important to uh, to have the bond challenge to uh, restore 150 million hectares of land. Of course, there is you know it's always working with the UN, but I don't know if this will be part of the the treaty on on all the negotiations that we will have.